I don't know what I, what I was gonna give him. Mm -hmm. Try and exercise in more company. That was company friendly. I'm I'm writing my name. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Thanks. That was company friendly. I'm I'm writing my name. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Thanks. Are you sure? Cause at the end of that sentence, it sounds like it's a test, and it sounds like you're gonna grade me on this. I guess he wants me to try out this horn real quick, but I can do that for you. I can definitely do that for you. Take these joints off. Take them off. You don't need them. Take them off. Yeah, he finally switched them out. All right, I could be the biggest idiot in the world, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because. So apparently I wasn't my microphone wasn't recording and it was so perfect the first time I don't have to do it again uh, But it's all good though. Uh, no introduction needed But we're playing funny business for the second time because the first time no audio was there The gameplay audio was there, but there was no audio there calm down Anyway, here we go. Hello new recruit. Welcome to funny business where happiness is made. Are you sure? I didn't even know we can do that. See he kept talking like he was done, but he's not done. As part of your introduction, I will be training you in the fundamental principles of Trickster Dome, whatever that means. I'm your junior manager, Stone Jones. Well, what's good, Stone Jones? Okay, you know what? I can't do this. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Before we begin, I have instructed to provide you with your very own mnemonic accessory. You talking about? Okay, name tag. Less fantastic. F any business trademark we believe in employee expression because we are one big happy family. Are you sure about that? I don't even know. That's a red flag at any job. When they say we are one big happy family, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. And that is run! Because it's toxicity. You don't need that in your life. Even when they said that during the interviews, you don't need that. It's toxic. But anyway, F any business, I don't know. It might be different. You know, I found this on Indeed Jobs. And I was like, you know what? I need a new job. So let's do the damn thing. Well, I mean, that's that's that that's awesome that you want me to write it out. As crappy as my handwriting is, I can do that for you. Without a problem. Let me write my first and last name for you. I got you. Let me cook as well. What? What you mean is that's a little bit too much expression? I wasn't finished writing my name. I, I was finna give him my. I don't know what I, what I was finna give him. Try and exercise in more company. That was company friendly. I'm, I'm writing my name. What are you talking about? Thanks. Oh, now you want me to type a name. Okay. You wanna let me type? I only type two letters, bro. On second thoughts, how about we just. Okay, whatever. Yeah, like this is spelled correctly. Who is walking around with this? On the uniform shirt. Nobody's walking around with this name. This name is not even spelled correctly. This is good, but I'm not using that. That, that. that doesn't fit me. That doesn't fit my. So we're gonna be Yibbit. As stupid as it sounds, you want me to pick that name. You want me to clock in the work every day with you guys call me Yibbit. What is a Yibbit? I'm finna hit the dough. I'm on some old money. I don't even know this company isn't funny, but uh, my rhymes are not sick. I might go to bed and start coughing. I don't even know what the deal is. When I pull up with the guy, you better start running. I'ma run your leg over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This company is doing it to me. He's making me rap terribly. But it's fine though. Is this the interview? I don't even know. That's what you need to do. Hey. As you <laughs> as you will see, everybody man knows there are three principles at the heart of every gaff. You meant to say staff. Let's begin with Timing. Timing is essential to every joke. Well, I know you got a few jokes up your sleeve. I'm gonna need you to tell me every single joke you got. Cause I'm not your first rodeo. I know you've done this to every new recruit. Let's go. See how I still doing times for five seconds? You know, I honestly thought you really didn't care. And I honestly thought you just wouldn't move on. But does everybody look the same? They walk around? I don't even know. I wanna surround sound. When I walk across the street, you already know. I played this song every time in your face. Master comedians have a firm grasp of the importance of timing. Now that you have received level 1 security clearance, I can give you this. Well, I need this, cause every time I'm around you, I'm gonna make a funny joke that's not even funny, and I'm gonna play this horn right here. 
Try not to lose it. Sounds goof. Provide a good opportunity for a rising jester type to practice their timing. Try and time your horn for maximum funny. I guess. Don't worry. This is not a test. We just want to see where you're at. Are you sure? Because at the end of that sentence, it sounds like it's a test. And it sounds like you're going to grade me on this. I don't like it. One bit. Also, I can see your other eyelashes over here. Are they in invincible or is it just the glare right here? Because it looks like you have eyelashes here and over here you don't have any. So what's the deal with that? I just want to know. <laughs> Whenever I'm ready, I'm going to play the heck out this one. I won't freak out. Okay, I do not have the authority to do Of course you don't have the authority. You're a junior manager. How does that even make sense? You're not even top tier manager. What's the point of you being a junior manager? What is that even doing? Is that setting you up for failure? Or even for worse? Are they paying you good? How much is your salary? Tell me. Hmm. That's fine. I know it's fine. You're learning on the job. Are you not giving me the OJT right here? But what is this, Stone Jones? I would really want to know. If you're finding a joke isn't funny, you can try. Listen, play up. I'm not going to keep repeating the same joke over and over. It's not going to be funny. No matter how I switch it up, you're going to say, oh, he said this before. Now he's switching it up. Now it's not even funny anymore. Because it's not. Many jokes get better the more you repeat them. No, they do not. You may notice I repeat myself. They're hot. Yeah, whatever. Give it a shot. I'm not giving anything a shot. You need to be paying me extra. We are here to nurture your funny bone. I don't have a funny bone. But you know what I can do? But you know what I can do? I'm finna do this right here. Can I grab this off your face? Listen. Listen. Uh, see, I'm a mean machine, I don't understand, but I spit a mean 16, and I keep it real clean, cause I'm that guy, and you already know I dress super fly, I'm gonna put up to your city, no, I'm gonna put up to no, no, it doesn't make sense, but I don't even care, cause I'm just that dense, and I don't wanna wash dishes, uh, I guess he wants me to try out this horn real quick, but I can do that for you. I can definitely do that for you. I'm still wondering where your other eyelashes are. But anyway, this is something that I would draw in like fifth grade. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Right? Ah, he's getting impatient. You don't like that. You know, I didn't catch that last time on the first game pit that I played. I didn't even catch him doing that. I just kept doing it. You don't like that, do you? Of course you don't. Now switch your eyebrows. There you go. Yeah. What you say is as important as how you say it. My mother was a postwoman. She was like, go for a living wrong package. Even though she was on time. That's messed up. You know, they should have kept her. Because I believe she was an excellent postman. You should have just said she worked at the post office. That's all you had to say. It's like that. You are the master of your own funny space. I am. In my head too. Some words are funny like slime, but nope, they are not funny. What type of job is this, bro? I just be applying to anything on Indeed and this came up. And they're like, you know what, we're super unbothered and unfazed, so we're just gonna hire anybody. Oh, what is this? See new application from somebody? Alright, we're gonna pull it and we're gonna call them in for an interview and then uh yeah we're gonna do this <laughs> other words are not funny like laundry and yeah please pick up the funniest word from the list well you know oh since i did come last time i'm not gonna pick that one i'm gonna pick the first one because i feel like he would think that one is better come was good last time even though he might not have liked it he liked it i know he liked it for some odd reason you know he did so we're gonna pick bartholomew <laughs> Okay, you, you said that the same thing. Your biggest fan. Please finish the joke. I will try to make you laugh. Whoa, he's off. What you got going on, Pip? Pick him off again. Let's start it with the setup. Oh, okay. Three horses walking to a bar. I'm not surprised. There are two types of people in this world. I think I picked this one last time and it didn't even work out. Nah, nah. We're not giving him a classic bougie, classic cringe knock knock joke. We don't need that. You heard him a thousand times, correct? So I don't think you need it. So we're gonna pick this one. Three horses walking to a bar. I feel like I'm setting you up with a good one. And you know I am. You know I am. Come on, bro. I got you. Dot, dot. How do you speak dot, dot? Uh, like your mouth is moving. Okay, yeah. We're definitely gonna build on that. Take these joints off. Take them off. You don't need them. Take them off. Yeah, he finally switched them out. Uh, okay. What did I pick? Three horses walking to a bar? With- Ooh! With friends like these! 
I got the punchline. I feel like it doesn't make sense. Three horses walk into a bar with friends like these. I got a sneeze. Oh, please. With friends like these. Ah. Is it, I mean, it only makes sense. What you mean that was something that was perfect? She took them glasses off. What you mean not all jokes should land? That was an excellent joke idea to say in my book. But in cases like these, you can just throw it in a pot and say, well, give it to me. Because you deserve it, because you didn't like my joke. And matter of fact, I might just leave like that for the whole entire video. I'm lying. I'm trying to clean you up. You never know what you never, know, whatever. Level 2. At funny business, pay value career mobility as quick as a whip. Whatever. Let's move on to the final principle. You're f oh, I'm fired. Well, you know what, Mr. Uh, Stone Jones, it's been a pleasure with my five hours-ish of being here. So, we'll see you in the next one, man. On the next indie job. Hopefully, I won't see you there. And if I do, it's on site. Of course you will. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Which is quite funny. No, it's not. Prize is the most popular principle of comedy. Combines the first two dangerous effect. You know what? You might be on something. The worst joke is one you have heard before. Or have told before. Unless it's a joke that gets funnier. No. I told you, no matter how many times a bad joke gets replayed over and over, it doesn't get funny. Unless you're working here at Funny Business. Or another reception that isn't coming to me right now. Orange. We glad that nobody has that nobody says banana anymore. I, pr I will present to you a dragon box. A beloved toy to turn of a small children with an unexpected clown. Well, you know what? When you put it like that, I, I don't even want it. So take this. To introduce you to the power of surprise, I would like you to try this time. Give it to me. I'll take it. Okay. Well, dang, you had to stop it that hard. Okay. You get it. That was pretty funny, right? Because you were surprised at how it works. Your definition of funny needs some work. Because what's funny in my book is different from what's funny in your book. I hope you know that. Also, how did you get this job? And why are you junior manager? Where's the real manager at? Come on, man. Where's the real manager at? <laughs> You sure? That's all we need to learn. Congratulations, you are now in power with the building of blocks and great jokes. Get and since you are now an artist, only your canvas is the face. Your face is the canvas. Watch this. Oh, it gets better. Oh, it gets better. Oh, it gets better. No, it really doesn't. I gotta shine. I gotta grind. I gotta make this guy. Sh yeah, with precise timing, authentic content. Appropriate surprise you could paint smiles on the faces of this. I don't think I can do that, bro. I don't think I can. <laughs> so, with that all out of the way, I have one last joke for you. What's the joke, player? <laughs> You're giving me with this. You serious? You can't be serious. You can't be serious with the knock knock jokes. I thought we were over that. Before you speak, I will let you know the answer. It is you. You're the who because you're not fully inducted. Welcome to Funny Business where we make it our business. You know how many times he said that to every new recruit? Like, I know it gets old. And I know you can grow old. What you mean? Punchline? The punchline is this. Funny Business! There's no punchline. There was never a punchline. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to do this because there's there's no like menu screen or anything. So we're just gonna leave it like this. But anyways, guys, I hope you like this one very much as I did with my nonsense and fake rapping or fake freestyling to this beat. Like I said, I gotta say this, man. I gotta use this for an unexpected day. But anyways, guys, I hope you, you like this one. And, you know, share it with your friends and family. Yeah, make sure you give a like and subscribe. Comment down below what games I should play next. Because this one is good.